Hey guys, welcome back to What's in the Box here on Nipa Nerd. Uh, I'm back this time for another episode of what I'm going to call Someone Forgot to Cancel Their Marvel Collector Core Subscription. So now, guess what? I got a box to open Marvel's Villains Box. It better be good. I'm going to real sick of paying for this shit. Let's find out what's going on here. Alright, guys. Let's jump into this box, see what we got. Um, I'm not going to lie, I am a jackass. I just keep forgetting that by a certain day in every month, you have to just cancel this thing, or they charge your credit card again for another box. Um, I have been pretty adamant in the past that this box isn't that great. I mean, the first box, the, the Avengers box, was awesome. It came with that the giant, super heavy uh, Hulk Buster Funko, which was amazing. Um, and then subsequent boxes, the Ant Man box was was crap uh, because it's just pretty much a, a rehash of every other box. I mean, you're gonna get a, a, a pop. Now it's two pops. You're gonna get a T-shirt. You're gonna get your pin. You're gonna get a comic book. You're gonna get a badge or a, a, a badge, like a, a patch. Excuse me. Um, my Ant Man pop came damaged. Yes, I did hear from them. So they sent me out a new one. Was to come right after the Secret Wars box, and lo and behold, I have no new Ant-Man pop yet. So after I open this, I'm going to email them again and figure out where my new where my Ant-Man pop is. Because if I'm paying for product, I better be getting product. And I'm sorry if I'm sounding bitter about this, but it just it's probably the worst subscription box I've gotten yet, only because it's so repetitive. Like Loot Crate has been chastised lately for putting too much filler in their box. And this last box, a time box, was a great uh, representation of them listening to their, their their fans, listening to their their customers, and just putting just a couple items in there, and they were all exclusive, and they were all killer. It was all killer, no filler. This box here is gonna be just the cookie cutter, same as it ever was. So let's, uh, of course, all right. My badge, this red skull, pretty cool, I'll give it that much. And then the pin this month is green, you can't really see the green goblin, take a picture of it, put it up there. Um, and I'll give it around, the pins are heavy duty, like the pins you get with Luke Crate are kind of generic. Uh, the one that Ashley got with her creepy box was the heavy duty pins with the, with the pin back. Um, Alright, like I said, t-shirt. Um, I'm going to try to open this up. I might just sell it. I don't know. Uh, it's a villain's t-shirt. Uh, Marvel villains through the years, pretty much. Venom, Thanos, Red Skull, um, so on and so forth. Ultron, you know, Loki. Cool shirt. I might wear this one. It's just a simple, great cotton t-shirt. I might not. I'm not sure. Um, alright, you get your co you get a, your collector core copy of Invincible Iron Man number one, it's a variant edition, which is pretty cool. Um, again, uh, if you're into comics, you might already have this, but it's a, it's a variant cover, those things are pretty badass, so I mean, I'll keep that for myself, and we'll go from there. Uh, going small to large, there is a Venom Pocket Pop keychain, um, Pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if it's... I mean, it's his exclusive, so I'm going to go with it and believe it is exclusive. Uh, I think Ash has a couple of these. There's a Harley Quinn one I got. I think a Joker one. Uh, I mean, the Funko does some nice things, so... Yeah, there's some shit. There we go. Um, Alright, I thought, th I thought maybe there was a problem with the head, but there's not... I don't think so. The body is... Disconnected. It's loose. It just spins. Um, I don't know if that's how all their ones are. I've never seen a Funko that, unless it was even a bobblehead, the bottom isn't just like this. Look, it's loosey goosey. <laughs> Funko. Marvel, what the hell are you doing? <sighs> you know, the next box is Guardians of the Galaxy, and I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. But parts of me just wants to say, screw it, not get it. Um, I don't really know. Like, it's just. It's crap like this. It just puts me over the edge. I'm paying $35 a box. This is $35. 
and I should be getting much better product than this. Now, the next two things are pretty cool. I'm not going to lie about that. I know you can see my wife off the distance is already happy about stuff that's in the box, though. Again, smallest to large. These are doors, the dorms that we we have a couple dorms. This is the collector core exclusive low key dorms. Um, he is, as they say, adorable. Um, I like the dorms. I mean, we're huge Funko people in this house. We collect them like mad people. Um, but the dorms are pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to open it up because you don't really get a good look at the. Uh, I don't want to open it up though. It's exclusive. Uh, the horns on Loki's helmet are pretty detailed in there. And I'll try to get a good shot of it for the pictures. But again, exclusive Loki dorbs. And then um, the pop this month uh, Morbius? I mean, he's. Come on. Really? You put a villain's box out. I know it comes out around Halloween. I know he's a vampire, but Morbius? The last pops he gave us were Miles Morales' Spider-Man and the new Thor, female Thor. And those are two awesome pops. Before that, the unmasked Ant-Man with the tiny Ant-Man. True mind was screwed up, but the pop itself is pretty cool. Pop before that, Hulkbuster. This, this is... Alright, <laughs> Funko, we are loyal to you to a fault. To a fault. Alright. I will go out of my way and search and buy anything that comes up Funko that we like. Exclusives, variants. I hunted down the Walgreens exclusives for months until I got my hands on them. The new Funkos that come out, the con Funkos that they put in stores finally, I hunt them down. These are great things. But a Morbius pop as the exclusive this time around is a little bit, you're pushing it, with how exclusive this is. You could have, what about a Doctor Doom pop would have been much better for this? A Green Goblin pop would have been much better for this. Alright? You're not, the, you, where are your brains in this one? A, a Morbius pop? Yeah, I'm very happy there's a Morbius pop here. Good God. I'm going to wait and see what's in the Guardians of the Galaxy box before I subscribe to it. I, I might even buy it on eBay if I have to, if the pops are that good. But Collector Core, you just lost my business. And I will make it a point. Like, I will put post-it notes and I will put alerts in my phone. And I'll have my wife do the same. I'm canceling this box. This is terrible. Alright? Don't get me wrong. The Loki is amazing. It's fun and whatnot. I'll read the comic, it'll go in a bag and board. I might wear the t-shirt to wash my car. This box is crap. Collector Core, you, you've lost money. Funko, you've lost money for me for the first time in a long time. And I usually don't get angry at these things. I usually don't rant from up on my soapbox. Uh, and I feel bad. People might watch this and be like, I'm an entitled jerk. I'm a, I'm, I have nerd rage. But I do have nerd rage. This is my hard-earned money that I'm putting out here to get stuff that's supposed to be all exclusives. But when you're just cookie cuttering these things every month and you're putting out non-inventive shirts, so don't get me wrong, the idea of a villain shirt is pretty cool. And it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's hit or miss. You know, you put on a villain's box and then you give me a copy of Iron Man as the, as the exclusive. He's not a villain. There's you could have given me a Thanos book or any other villain you have on your roster. You're slacking. You're taking shortcuts. And I don't like it. Get your shit together and maybe, just maybe, I'll come back to that Guardian's box. See you guys next time. Another episode of What's the Box.